Hi, this is Damon Tordini with Hawkridge Systems. We're going to take a quick look at exporting material properties from SolidWorks Plastics for advanced FEA with Samulia Abacus. SolidWorks Plastics is the built-in add-in for SolidWorks that can simulate the plastic injection molding process to figure out if a plastic part will be manufactured properly, if the mold will fill, or if the part will have any defects after production. Using this add-in, I can figure out whether or not a plastic part that I'm designing, such as the panel for this simple uh, electronics device, is going to fill properly and what the material properties of the part might look like after production. In this particular case, I'm using an ultramid plastic that is fiber filled, which means after I've designed the runner and the sprue and decided where to gate the part, I'm going to be able to tell where the fiber is placed in my part and what the orientation is. That fiber, of course, will have a big impact on the strength of the part. And I can see those results in SolidWorks Plastics. If I'm trying to figure out whether or not this fiber is oriented properly to provide strength to the part when I put a load on it, for example, if I'm dropping this or putting a pressure on it when I'm using the part in the field, I need to perform a stress analysis to test out those loading conditions. Even though SOLIDWORKS Plastics has the ability to send some of these properties to SOLIDWORKS simulation for analysis, there are some limitations. You're only able to export the results for a single body, so it doesn't work for parts that have inserts, such as insert overmolded products. And the materials must be isotropic. It doesn't work for fiber-filled materials like this one. So I need a different solution. And now, in this example, is going to be exporting the results from SOLIDWORKS Plastics to an external FEA program called Smulia Abacus. From SOLIDWORKS Plastics, if I right-click the Results folder, I get an Export option. And you'll see here, under the Save options, I have a Save As Type menu, which is currently set to Abacus. When I click the Export button, I'm presented with a pop-up menu to save these material results as an abacus.inp file which is basically a completed abacus job with all of the material properties and boundary conditions to run an analysis. I can give it a name and save it, and then go over to Smulia Abacus to open this input file, check out the setup, and then make any additions to the loading conditions before I run the analysis. Here I've got a new model in Abacus. And in order to bring in the data from SOLIDWORKS Plastics, I can go to File, Import, Model, set my file filter as that Abacus Input File INP extension, and select what I exported from SOLIDWORKS Plastics. This will take a few minutes to process. It's going to build me a mesh. It's going to apply the material properties and boundary conditions. And it's going to give me what we call a project file for Abacus with all of the setup conditions that I need to run the simulation. This is a great time-saving step because I can skip most of the normal setup operations that are required in Abacus, such as defining part sections and assembly instances, creating material properties, creating the mesh, choosing element types, and so forth. Here you can see I've got the mesh for the part that's been imported. And this is the same mesh that I was using in SOLIDWORKS Plastics to run the analysis. So we'll have some nice consistency there in the results. And you can see that in my boundary conditions, I've got the option to add any kind of boundary conditions or loads that I would want. So for example, I could fix the model here at the gate if I want to mimic uh, sending this part out of the mold and clamping it down somewhere while it warps. And I could put loading on it as well, any kind of force, gravity, uh, acceleration, anything like that. I'm going to leave the setup conditions as is here, but the important thing to notice is that under the materials, you can see that we have imported the homogenized short fiber properties from SOLIDWORKS Plastics. So Abacus is going to know for each element in the mesh what direction those fibers were pointed in, and how does that affect the strength of the part. After creating the job and submitting it for analysis, I can look at the results. And what I'm able to see here right away is what the orientation of that fiber looked like and whether it matches up with SOLIDWORKS Plastics. 
I can do that by popping up a vector plot of the anisotropic orientation of those elements. I'll click the plot material orientations option here. And you can see in blue, I've got some vectors that are showing up. And those are the first axis, which corresponds to the, the normal direction of the material, which is the direction that the fiber would be in. I've got some options to play around with the visibility of these vectors to see uh, uh, where they are. You can make them larger. You can change the density. And if you wanted to, you could show the, the perpendicular directions too. Because that fiber information is present, that means that the stress and deformation that results that I'm going to get in my part are very accurate and based on the way that this specific part was molded. Now I can go look at my other result plots here under the visualization menu, such as the von Mises stress and the deformed shape of the part. With this, I'm able to take the results from SOLIDWORKS plastics that account for the actual manufacturing process of the plastic part, put any kind of real world loading on the part I want and figure out if the fiber filled plastic that I've chosen for my design is the right one. If you're interested in performing the similar analysis using cloud computing on the 3D experience platform, a similar workflow is also available with the plastic injection engineer and structural performance engineer roles. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more design to validation workflows on the Hawker Systems YouTube channel.